Hi, I'm Henry. And Stella from Maple University. Today we are doing something completely different than we've done before. It's new, it's exciting. For me, very exciting. <laughs> now, I managed to get Henry to show off his painting skills. Ta da! Mm -hmm. So, we are going to paint. We are painting Star Wars The Clone Wars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is based on the pandemic system. Indeed. So, this is newly released, mm -hmm. and this is, you know, place almost like pandemic, different storyline. And it comes with some awesome minis, yeah. Star Wars minis. Yeah, so, when I got yeah. the box, I felt somewhat inspired um, to get my paintbrushes out and yeah. think of, you know, what, yep. what can we do? Making something new and different. So keen to show you basically some basic speed te painting techniques. So speed painting is a way of painting miniatures that takes out a lot of the process. Sometimes you have to highlight and shade, and it's quite a delicate and long process to paint a mini. This is to shorten the time between you painting and getting your minis to the table and then undertaking the projects like painting all the minis in Pandemic, um, Star Wars, The Clone mm -hmm. Wars. Instead of it being like a five or ten hour job, it can be done you know, in, a, in a reasonable like, time, you know, yeah. like one sitting almost if, you're, if you get good. So, that sounds really good because yeah. kind of like these days time is quite the Time is crucial. of the essence. Yeah, you know, and, and then you just want to, you have so many games, <laughs> so many minis to paint and then, yep, now you just paint yep. the minis like that. Yep. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, hopefully we can inspire you to start painting as well. Some mm -hmm. easy... This would be a great place to start. Uh, yep. I'll show you some basic techniques that I yep. use to um, prepare the mini. And then we can go through painting a few of the minis. So I'm going to paint Yoda. I'm going to paint <gasps> Only Buon Kenobi. And I'm going to paint one of the droids. Mm -hmm. And I'll show off the Anakin I painted prior to oh, recording. Oh, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. Just, um, in the meantime, if you've got any questions as well, or this is not live, but if you yeah. do have any questions, <laughs> please write us in the comment sections below and we'll be happy to get back to you. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's get ready. Cool. So this is what we're hoping the end product will look like. Something along the lines of this Anakin I painted. Uh, so hopefully our Obi Wan Kenobi will that look similar good. quality to this Anakin. Yeah, Anakin Skywalker looks never better. <laughs> <laughs> and this was done very very quickly. So um, about fifteen minutes. Yeah, about fifteen oh, minutes wow. or so. But uh, yeah, it looks really effective considering the amount of time you put yeah. into it. Um, this looks like a really effective approach. All right, let's get started. So here I've got Obi Wan Kenobi, and I've spray painted him all black, ready to be primed. So normally when you prime a mini, you normally just finish at the stage of spraying it a certain color and then just get straight into painting. We're gonna do a te speed painting, painting technique called slap chop. <laughs> it's an interesting name. There's a YouTuber that um, discovered it. I should have checked his name before I um, jumped on, but there's loads of, you can find loads of extra information on slap chopping technique if you wanna search it. Um, Sorry, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a silly name, yes. You just <laughs> like uh, slap it, chop it. Yeah, it slap, sounds quick. It, slap it on and I'm not sure like what chop stands for, but... Are you cutting um, anything? <laughs> no. Cutting the time, <laughs> chopping the time. Yeah, chopping the time, that's they right. They used to look like this, right? Yeah, the, so this uh, is how they come in the box yep. and your baddies are blue and your goodies are that... Um, creamy colour. Kind of nice creamy colour, yep. yep. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and make it look something like how I've got Yoda here. Yeah. So you can see I've done some shading. It's kind of mm -hmm. like, um, what does Awakened Realms call it? That sun, sun dropped style. Right, okay. Um, so what this involves is uh, dry brushing a layer of gray paint all yep. over the mini. And then we're gonna dry brush another layer of white. And that's a little bit less, just to point out the very highlighted edges, so like the things that stick out the most. Mm. So then when we paint the speed paint on top of it, it will remain brighter and it kind of looks like we've done some highlighting on the mini. Nice. So how do you actually paint it black anyway in the first place? Uh, so I just use a spray can of um, black oh, paint. That's it. Just um, you get some hobby paint. Um, any of the brands are good for black. Yeah. And um, just don't go and buy your cheapest black spray paint in the shop because it right. will come out a little bit splodgy. <laughs> um, we don't want splodgies. And yeah, you just spray it all over. Make sure yep. you try to get every single spot. You might have to go over with a paintbrush after and get black on some of the little hard spots to reach with the yep. spray can. Uh, and then you're good to go. Okay, and for the dry brushing technique, I'm gonna be using a makeup brush. 
So this is a very, very, very cheap makeup brush, the 007 Angled. Don't look for this anywhere because you won't find it <laughs> unless you're in Kmart in Australia. <laughs> and we're going to put um, rub grey over as much of this mini as we can, more or less, mm -hmm. um, trying to leave the very deepest crevices still black. So okay. they still look black when we're finished painting. So all, all you're going to need is a grey paint. Here I'm using the Army Painter Ash Grey. And we're going to add no water for that, have it as dry as we can on the brush, have the brush really dry as well, so that your paint's not watered down at all, and it's just going to brush it all over. So let's, um, let's start with this. So when you get your paint on the brush, you want to try and rub as much of it off so it's barely visible anymore before you brush it on. You put it in there. Is that so I'm just I'm just wiping there? it on yeah. some cardboard, and now there's very little of this grey paint left on the brush. And now when I go to rub it, it's Ooh. just going to catch the more oh, highlighted wow. areas. That is that instantly facelift looking good. I can yeah. see his face now. Yeah. I mean, he definitely looks better in grey than black. Yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> indeed. Oh wow. Look at you can that. see these techniques very quick. Yeah. Um, what is it called again? Pop chop. <laughs> pop, <laughs> pop chop. <laughs> is, is, this is a basic dry dry brush. Sorry, so this is yes. very common. Um, mm -hmm. But the whole technique in total is mm -hmm. called slap chop. Thank you, slap chop. <laughs> um, I actually had yeah lamb chop for dinner. <laughs> lamb chop. <Yeah. laughs> not lamb chop, Stella. Yeah, lamb chop. It's not lamb chop. Okay, then it's okay. <laughs> And I like to get mm. quite a lot of this grey on. You can vary how much you want to put on the mini, mm -hmm. but um, I find if you leave anywhere black, it mm -hmm. will remain black for the whole process. So you really want to make sure you get some grey on at least the areas you want to be definitely not black. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, um, you might finish with a middle a miniature that's a little bit darker than mm -hmm. you anticipated to begin. That is amazing. So under his scared you just don't want to paint it because it's no, that's, you, you're not going to see that anyway yeah, that's so, correct so um, you leave it you're not dark. really worried yeah and um Makes sense. you don't need as much paint on those darker areas because you want them to look dark when you finish yeah. anyway so that's correct i'll just try and try and get a bit more on his face but we mm. are going to go over another layer of pure white after this to capture the areas we want to be brightest and that's going to include his face mm -hmm. all right so we're going to start on the white highlights on kenobi so I put some white on my brush. I'm going to try and remove as much of that white so it's barely visible. And uh, then I'm just going to try and do a much lighter layer, just trying to catch the, the very one. highlighted. So. Hello, Ewan, Ewan mm. McGregor. Ewan McGregor? Yeah. Oh, wow. And this is where, starting to get towards where the slap chop is getting mm. a bit more unique where he's bothered to put the second layer on with a white because yep. the traditional way with speed paint is that you just paint the whole mini bright white mm -hmm. and then you just start painting directly on white so this is this makes the mini already quite dynamic prior to you actually brushing right uh, yeah, this is easier to put the color on because it's got really great shading yep. already to start with, right? Yep. It's I guess it's a, a bit like makeup as well because I, I, I used to learn makeup artistry. I used to work as makeup artist. So, right. yeah, so especially in, well, this movie, I'm not like as advanced as working in movie industry or anything like that, but I used to do Weddings, uh, brides, bridezilla, or whatever it is they come in. <laughs> uh, no, no, I think my clients are okay. This was like many years ago. So, and I also learned to do makeup for drag queens, which is very interesting. And especially for drag queens, there's a lot of contouring before you're putting the makeup on. Like you put the darker shadow in on the area that you want to crease. A highlight is where you want to kind of like forward a little bit mm. so i think you can do makeup hen yeah <laughs> that's, that's thinking, the summary maybe that's uh um, <laughs> that's my next career yeah. <laughs> next time i have an interview for a makeup place they'll yeah. ask me what my what my experience is and i'll just say well, i made you and mcgregor look really nice 
<laughs> that is that is absolutely true. And like, oh. He's like, wow, you worked on Ewan McGregor? And you're like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty good. Which Ewan McGregor? <laughs> Don't need to specify, right? No. <laughs> Speci- uh, speciality on yeah. the, um, on male male makeup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the males get, get get actually makeup on in the movie. Sure. Mm. Don't you see my makeup front <laughs> coming on tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Not sure about that. <laughs> Not sure about that. What color you want to apply on you and McGregor? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a little reference photo I found on my phone of Euron McGregor in the Clone Wars because this is based on the Clone Wars so right. I'm going to paint all the minis like they are in the Clone Wars animation I'll pop up in the in the video as well yeah for everyone to see it's some magic skill there <laughs> I thought it would have been like much harder to do all that but yeah they look um, you can be deceptive about how skillful you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People think you're a genius when you paint a miniature, and then mm-hmm. um, they say you actually paint it, and they're like, oh, I can do that. That's <laughs> quite easy. Yeah, I was like, so, now I'm saying that I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the great thing about it as well, though. It's, um, yeah, everyone's It's very can do accessible. It. So, yeah. Um, you shouldn't be scared of p- trying to get your minis out and painting them. Yep. Uh, so that's our uh, highlighting. So he's all ready to be get some paint on him now. Oh, yay. Do you need to dry it first? No, so it will it will dry really quickly because um, this paint I'm dry using brushing. Yeah, is, is very dry to begin with. So, uh, yeah, so it's pretty much ready to go. Oh, cool. exciting. So next up, I'm going to paint Ewan's cloak here. So uh, there's quite a lot of cloak to paint. And it's all going to be a similar colour. His boots are going to be brown, but we're going to paint all his cloak now. So for his cloak, we are going to use a paint called Pallid Bone. This is one of the speed paints that you can get. I've brought the Speed Paint Mega Pack, which includes all of the first range of speed paints that they released. I think they're releasing more soon. Nice. Uh, so all the paints, or well, majority of the paints we're going to be using are going to be these speed paints throughout this. And we might use a few metallic paints and some skin coloured paint just mm-hmm. to finish it off. So with this one, we want to put um, about 75% this paint. And we want to add a little bit of medium to it. And the Mega Pack will include one of these speed paint mediums. You can use water instead of this, but I find this is a fair bit more effective than water. So I would recommend picking up one of these. Uh, to dilute a little bit. Yeah, just to dilute it. Uh, I found, I never used one of these till just recently, and I found some of the paints I struggle with. Um, if I use this on it instead of water, they start working a lot better. So okay. things like a pure white can be quite hard to paint with, but adding this to it really helps. Okay. Let's see in action. Let's see in action. So we are going to get all this cloak area uh, painted in this colour. And hopefully our dry brushing efforts will make this look quite dynamic as it dries. Your speed paints often don't look like what they're going to look like after they're dry as well. So we will see as we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it probably dries brighter or something like that. And we can just... One thing with speed paints you've got to be really careful of is you don't want it to uh, get on areas that you don't want the colour. I know it sounds really obvious, but <laughs> um, speed paints are a little bit harder to fix than your standard paint if you uh. do make a mistake. Uh, so you just got to be careful you paint in the areas. It's harder to paint over stuff that you Yeah, because accidentally... we've done a lot of preparation prior to this. Ah, yeah. So um, you have to sort of go back and um, paint it back over with white and then oh, reset yes. again. So uh, it's a little bit tricky. I see. Well, that's the analogy of makeup again, right? So <laughs> when you actually put like eyeshadow or eyeliner wrongly and then you have to do eye makeup remover and then you have to put the foundation, the prime, mm. um, the powder. So I guess it's the same one. Girls, we can do this. We yeah. put makeup on. We you paint. probably <laughs> have far more base knowledge than what <laughs> I did when I went into this. No, I'm quite surprised at how much it is actually logical and just you know painting your face, painting minis. Yeah, has got similarity. Yeah. I mean, you even use 
uh, makeup brush. I even use the makeup brush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the paint works better on surfaces that aren't, isn't too flat. So um, cloaks are often good because they have some nice creases and um, areas for the paint to get into. Yeah. But if you have like larger flat surfaces, these paints tend to get a little bit splotchy when they dry. Mm. Uh, there's quite a lot of cloak on Obi Wan here. Yeah. Uh, I probably should have used a slightly bigger brush. I think. It's really tiny though. Yeah, it is small. It looks a lot bigger on camera than it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> than it is here. So I've just finished going over the cloak and I've got the cloak everywhere. So I even own the legs here and um, all the sleeves and inner rings like that. It's a little bit darker than I was anticipating for the colour, but I think it looks uh, quite nice still. Yeah. Uh, so next up I'm going to go onto the skin and for this I'm going to use a paint called Crusader Skin. This is the only... Um, color that's called skin in the speed paint um, mega set to in the original starter yeah. set I think there's some more shades coming out this paint I normally have to go back over with a standard paint at the end so I'm gonna just show you how it looks with just the Crusader skin paint uh, first and I'm just gonna get his face and his hands so let's get this hand here a little bit darker uh, then I was really wanting um, the colour. So I've got a lighter paint which I'll go over for a bit later and we can just highlight some of the areas that we want to do. I'm sure you've never had to do makeup on a face this small before? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pretty hard to do <laughs> eyeliners there. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing um, yeah, eyeliner and <laughs> <laughs> too many advanced Makeup techniques on it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty good. We'll leave that to dry. So let's move on now. I'm going to get this lightsaber done. Oh, let's just get that off before it dries. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. That's what I'm teaching you not. So we're going to just uh, go with the lightsaber. And I've got a color called Pism. Oh, can I even say it? Prismatic Bolt here. So this one here. Uh, this is kind of like a space marine colour if you know your Warhammer. It's for like plasma guns and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's pretty suitable for what we're trying to apply it for yeah. here. And before I did this, I just went over the white, the lightsaber in a white paint. Um, same with the skin. Just to make sure it's really bright because the lightsaber we want to end up being one of the brightest part of the mini because lightsabers naturally give out light. So. I wonder um, if there's a glow in the dark paint. I think there may be. There's like all sorts of effect paints that you can get. Yeah. Out there. Uh, so if you were going to play Pandemic in at night time <laughs> and uh, <laughs> with no lights on, um, probably not. <laughs> it's the rest of the board glow in the dark. So for the handle, I'm going to be using this grim black paint here. Now you can see I probably don't have the steadiest hand in the world. That should be encouraging for you if you're um, yes. <laughs> thinking about starting out. You don't need necessarily need to be that steady a hand. Mm -hmm. And if it's just a little mistake that you make, most people honestly aren't going to notice. Yeah. Um, most yeah. people focus on the main details, which is most of the mini, really. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't stress about yeah. minor mistakes. But yeah. that's, that's all we need to do for the handle. That will dry up nicely. Uh, next, let's move on to that beautiful hair of his. So we're going to get a brown out for this one. I'm going to use a dark wood for his hair. That's his style. Mm. And we'll get that ready quickly. It sounds like the the paint has got that, you know, like the white out that you used to have, mm. that I used to use. 
it's got that thing so you you shake it it's like a, a shaking ball or something inside it yeah it does it has mm -hmm. a mixing ball so what is it so uh these paints all come pre mixing board so you can buy them individually if you don't if your paints don't have them yep and there's like little ball bearings basically that you put in oh wow i think um you think you don't want to buy any ball bearing mm. some of them can uh, affect the paint and um react badly oh they wow dry them out so just be mindful of that if you do plan to yeah um, put your paint do not know that i guess that this is the hair and the um the beard yeah I don't normally bother with eyes or any of those finer details. I find those a little bit too difficult and not really worth the effort. No. Um, unless you're exceptionally good at um, very, very small detail, but my brushwork, um, not yeah. not anywhere near that level yet. Unless if the mini is slightly bigger mini, so then you yeah, can Yeah, these, <laughs> these, these minis are uh, exceptionally, uh, actually quite small, um, smaller than you might initially think yeah his hair all done nice he's actually looking all right so maybe yeah. we might not even need to go over the skin with the um the lighter color but sometimes it can look a little bit gray the skin so if you do want to liven it up a bit you can go mm -hmm. over it and i might show you that as well um i'll probably do that last and come back to it yeah now we're going to do his boots and some of his belts. Um, little belt, belt bits yeah. here. So there's some metal bits on here and some like leather bags here. Oh, wow. So we've got a leather paint which we're going to do both of these in. This one is called Hardened Leather. Oh, nice. What have you painted, Hen? Yeah, so I, I collect some um, Warhammer 40,000. So I collect Space, Space Marines. Uh, there, so I paint some of those. Uh, probably got about halfway through my army. It's one of those things. Mm. It's been a slow project as yeah. I go. It's a lot, right? It is. It is a lot. <laughs> um, and I'm painting those um, not with speed paints, so that's taking a fair bit longer. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, Why not with speed? Oh, it's a better quality. Yeah, I, it's just I didn't have the speed paints at the time when I started the, okay. the project, so. And having a blend of speed paints and non-speed paints is a little bit hard to make all the army uh, blend together. Yeah. Uh, I painted up my Blood Rage. That was fun. I did uh, all the all monsters. Of them. Yeah. I did uh, just the monsters, so um, the four monsters that yeah. you could summon. Yeah. Uh, nice. I've painted up the four base factions of Cthulhu Wars. Nice. Which was that's been a big project, and the speed paints I've come in with those sort of halfway through, but that's mm. been good because I've just painted like two of the factions with speed paints and two uh. without. And I think the speed paint ones probably look better than my <laughs> original ones, but that's mm. also me improving over time as well. Yeah, yeah. This is the things that you improve over time, right? Yeah, and for technique, sure. Different techniques. Yeah. There's all sorts of uh, videos and different techniques and different styles of doing things. Uh, so sorry if that's I'm right. getting off camera. So I think that's all. I might just get that little bit just in there. The shading will basically just cover your mini in it and it will run into all the cracks for you yeah. and hopefully not darken the mini much at all mm -hmm. in the process. And that way is it's kind of helps you get those areas darker. So the skin isn't quite as bright as I'd like it to be in some areas. So I'm using a paint called Barbarian Flesh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
which is not re representative of um, my Obi-Wan Kenobi here very <laughs> much at all, but... Um, <laughs> Is Obi Wan, and you put him next wow. to Anakin. He looks quite nice. Um, you could, if you wanted to, you can see there because I've used a normal paint. His eyes have sort of um, not become as obvious now. Yeah. So um, <laughs> you could use a shade in there once that's dried. It would just have to wait a little while, mm -hmm. and then um, you could use like a army painter has something called a flesh wash which you can just simply um, brush straight out the bottle on his face and it will get into like where the eyes are and that kind of thing and bring those out so um, it's a little bit darker in those recesses uh, but that is Obi-Wan done uh, ready to play with that's awesome or well, slightly, slightly <laughs> wet <laughs> yeah. just don't touch it yet properly yeah. yeah we also have Yoda here which we can paint up and I'm also going to maybe make Stella paint ah! this droid up. Um, two, we're going to give me a two colour job. I've got nah. one pre painted here that I did earlier, just like this. Oh, wow, that's already painted. Okay, so next up we have Yoda. Woohoo! And we're going to start Yoda with a similar cloak colour as Obi Wan. Have you seen the Star Wars film Stella? Um, I have, but <clears throat> I prefer the TV series. The TV series? So you the watched the Clone Wars? No, no, no the, not the Clone Wars. I don't think I have watched the Clone Wars. That's but an the, animation. No, the latest one, the new oh, Disney Plus ones. Oh, the Mandalorian. Mandalorian, Boba Fett, Obi-Wan yeah. Kenobi, and oh, Andor. I haven't seen Andor, Obi-Wan oh. Kenobi. I haven't been up to speed on my Disney Plus um, <coughs> shows. That's I quite heard. sad. No, <laughs> not really. I heard, what's the <coughs> latest one called again? The um, Andor. Andor, I heard that's yeah. quite good. Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't going to watch it because I thought, who's that? You know, I mean... Rogue One guy. Yeah. Yeah. But then a lot of people said it's good. It actually is good. Yeah. So it's just based on the, the storyline. I think it's, it's quite fun to watch. Mm -hmm. I hear the animated series that this is based on, this game. Uh, the Clone Wars, Wars is very good as well. Right, so, yeah. Um, I haven't watched that one yet. I'm not really... I mean, I watch Star Wars, but I'm more of a Star Trek fan, if Ooh, I have to choose. Controversial. <laughs> uh, I, haven't, I haven't really seen Star Trek, okay. so I can't really <clears throat> give an opinion if it's good or not. Yeah. My sister tells me all about it, and she says you have to watch a significant amount of the show before it gets good. But she really, really loves it now. Yeah. Uh, so she just said you have to put the time in and the investment and then it pays off, uh, which I haven't got around to doing yet. So It is, it is a <coughs> bit of investment. Um, we just finished watching one of the seasons in Picard. That's also good. Yeah. I know some people, it's quite controversial. Some people don't like it. I, me and Taryn quite enjoy it. Taryn's never watch Star Trek, but he's happy to watch some of them, like Discoveries, Picard, and Strange New World, which just started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's All right, we've got our cloak done. Yep. Uh, we're going to move on to that lovely skin of his. Green! Nice green skin. So for the green skin, I'm going to use this paint here, Magalignic. Malignant green. Malignant. I can't <laughs> Malignant green. Thank you. Malignant so, green. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I think. <laughs> that was not coming out though. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's sort of like, like a slime, moss green. Not moss. Green, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's pretty Yoda skinny though, I think. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, his green is not like bright frog green. It's more no. like... Yeah, I look, it's getting more and more green as it dries, I Crack, think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. That's his skin all done. I think I'm just going to leave his hair grey. It is kind of grey uh, <laughs> in <laughs> the movies, so I think that looks all right as is. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll move on to this front area. So I've got a little reference photo I'm kind of using, and you can see the. this is a darker brown down the front here. So we're just going to paint that in a darker brown colour. The hardened leather down the front. Wow, 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Done. No time <clears throat> at all. So you can see based on your models and the number of small details they have, how long it takes can greatly vary. Yeah. Um, but without doing the dry brushing bit, and you do that dry brushing bit that we did at the start, the slap chop uh, bit at the start, <laughs> you can do that <laughs> quickly between lots of miniatures once you've, you just get the light gray, you go yeah. through all the miniatures, and then you get the white and you go through all your miniatures. And then they're all, uh, if you use the right size brush, like we did this time, uh, they're all a lot quicker mm. to, uh, to paint. So that's Yoda done. And Stella, did you want to paint no, this drawing? Not this time. It's sure? like so hard. <laughs> How do you actually get in that tiny, very, very tiny? No, it's very simple. We just, um, we're just going to paint the gun in a black, mm -hmm. and we're just going to paint not, the rest of the mini in one other color. It's not else. black. We're going to do most of the mini in Fine, I'll do it. Sand, <laughs> sand golem color. All right, I'll do it. Right, I'll Stella's do this. Stella's first time painting <laughs> live on scary. camera. Uh, it's not, sit where I not am, live, Stella? live. No, I can sit here. Not live, live. <laughs> it's not live, live. You if can... it's like, uh, as long as Henry's here to prepare <laughs> the paint and stuff, like, okay, mm -hmm. let's just like, I'll mix it for you. Just like slap them on. Uh, just on the droid itself and um, just, just put on that the droid, on. Yep. like that. It. Wow. Anyone can do it. Yeah, if, if Stella can do it, <laughs> I can do it. Anyone can do it, exactly what he said. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. That's all right. Uh, My first painting. Oh, I want to take a selfie with it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at everything we've done. Yeah, Let's get into I position again. Uh, I hope that's been useful. You got loads of uh, heroes in mm. the in the base game too. I know. So we got like all of these guys to paint up as well. We've got villains in here too, like General Grievous, which is this one here. Oh wow, well, yes. Uh, Count Dooku. Count who? Dooku, I think it is. <laughs> nice. Darth Maul. Yeah. I'm going to run out of things I know the name of soon. <laughs> this lady? You do already this doing lady. <laughs> <laughs> You're already doing better than me. Mace Windu. Oh. Samuel Jackson. Picard. <laughs> this lady as well. This lady. <laughs> uh, so that's all your the heroes Jedi. in the game. Jedi heroes. And you've got a big baggie of um, droids in here. Oh, wow. And okay. a few station, space stations, which yep. uh, you'll need to paint up as well. And that is it. And that is it. Everybody, oh, that is that. how to speed paint. <laughs> Everyone can do it, like literally. Yeah, yeah. I just for sure. proved it. I never painted in my life, like yep. never. <laughs> oh, actually, once it was uh, like just like dip you are everything a in one color. as well, I guess. So, um. <laughs> but uh, that didn't take <laughs> much skill at all. Uh, yeah, so that is that is it. Hopefully, that's been useful. Yeah. And thanks, Henry, for that's all right. showing it. How oh, it's, it's been done. a pleasure. It's yeah, my, I was quickly. excited to try my hand at painting on camera. I think, yeah. I, I think I kept the mini on the camera most of the yeah. time. <laughs> most at least. of the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, if you you know you want us to paint more, let us know in the comment maybe or any particular things yep. uh, that we can paint. Let us know. And Henry can be found also at his own channel. Let's start playing yep. on YouTube. Uh, yeah. where you usually do mostly BGA and TTS tabletop simulator teach. Mm -hmm. But if you want me to start painting minis on there, let me know. Yeah, you can <laughs> paint, maybe, uh, let's do painting there. Yeah. 
And uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hit like if you are um, able to. It will be really helpful to us. And subscribe and so on. Yeah. And that's it. Thanks cool. so much for watching. Thanks, Thanks for again, watching. Henry. Bye. Bye.